There are a lot of games you can play on the internet. Uh, this is a cute one called Save the Zogs at mathplayground.com. Save the Zogs and you can see the website right up here. And uh, what we're trying to do is to draw a line through as many Zogs as we can. We won't be able to get through all of the Zogs. We're just trying to get through most of them. So for example, I could try to draw a line through these two by moving the line down and changing the slope. But you're trying to save as many po as possible. And on these first levels, they're going to make it as easy as possible. You can just keep clicking till it slides down or up so you can see where you are. It doesn't really matter where this line is drawn. Your answer is here. So this is passing through negative 8. Y is negative 8 and Y is negative 8 there and negative 8 there and negative 8 there. So I can save four Zogs. I guess these guys we won't be able to rescue. Oops, I forgot to pick an equation. See how the line didn't matter? So you go Y equals negative 8 and I have saved some Zogs. And here you have a vertical line. So I'm just going to, you can again move the line as you like. See how the point's moving. Adjust the slope. And here it's undefined. It's x equals 9. And I'm going to rescue. And we'll do another one. Let's see. Move the x position over here. And that's undefined slope. You do not have to draw this line. If you see the solution already, you can just click on the solution. And I'm awesome. I'm at the next level. And here it's still pretty much vertical and horizontal, but now they're going to have you pick the form of the line. So here you're trying to figure out where does x have to go through. So let me move the x. It's got to go through negative 4 and it's a vertical line. So it is x equals. I know that looks like, hey, horizontal should be it with x and verticals with y. No, a vertical line is x equals. So we say, uh, oops, that's not the right value. I need it to be negative 4. So I rescue and there they are. And we'll do our y position up. But y just kind of, you don't, again, have to do this. So that's y equals, that's a horizontal line. I'm not real fond about that horizontal being over that and the vertical being over that. Voila. And let's say I can say, oh, this is a vertical line, so it's x equals value is negative 9. So you can see I'm not even moving the line anymore. I know, there we go. Rescue. And then now you're going to start getting to, oh, you have the equation, now show us the line. So here I have to move my position. That is a horizontal line. And the little zog show up. A negative 10, so I got to move it down. Rescue. And y, x equals 6, so I need to move the x to 6. So here the sliders are very important because this is my answer. Now it starts to get interesting. So you can see that I can play with this slope line right there is where I'm going to get the most zogs. So the slope, it's going through zero, so that's why these are all real simple equations. And the rise is five, the run is one. So the equation is y equals five over one times x or five x. And you can again play with the lines. Most of these beginning, they're trying to get you, I'm pretty sure that's the most we can do. Only three? No, four socks. I got four socks. And I'm going down three over one, so my slope is negative three. And anyways, so I can just keep playing with this. And eventually you're going to find out that you are going to have to um, at a y-intercept. So here they're asking for what is the equation. So you, now you're just sliding the slope around. If you want to, I think it helps to draw that so you can kind of count on the grid. That's negative 4. So I'll say the slope is this. So anyways, this is a really fun game. I hope you enjoy it.